Hello, hello, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I'm here to give you another message on career or whatever is going on in your surroundings that you need to keep your eyes on. So we have here, look out for problematic clients. So for those of you who have a business or even working for somebody else, you could have clients who want to come back to create some problem, you know, whether it's to return a product, needing a refund, or some people are just miserable. They want to burst your bubbles. You know, they want to steal your joy. Spirit says, don't let them. So you got it out the mud. A lot of you, you're hard workers. You don't mind, you know, pulling up your sleeves and going after what you need what you have doing, what you have to do to survive legally in an ethical manner. And it says God or divine is watching you. So God is watching you and he's taking notes of everything that's going on. And, and again, I take the first card as a, like a warning. Look out for problematic clients, people who want to create problems for you. Because the truth is that you're a winner. And a lot of people, they just want to rain on your parade. And so, like with the song with Kenny Rogers, sometimes you have to know when to hold them, fold them, walk away, and when to run. Because a lot of these people, they're miserable. And you have to just, again, new levels, new devils. Because... It doesn't matter where you go, what you're doing, you're gonna have people who will try to test you, especially if they know that you're in spirituality, you're Christian or whatever, just so that they can say, uh-huh, I thought you were this. And then that will know, it's like they want to convict you. So then that will kind you feel guilty. You will probably even turn away or feel so embarrassed that you want to walk away from your calling and your gifts. So it's, it's wise to know the discernments, the tricks and the plans of the enemies and try not to fall in them. Try not to fall in those traps. It's kind of like how they would say, don't write a letter or send a letter or email whatever when you're angry you know you type it and you look it over and then the more you calm down you start deleting things from there until you probably even decide it's not even worth it so don't allow your anger don't allow the enemy to get the best of you because again sometimes as you're closer to your blessing the bigger the blessing the bigger the burdens and the enemy is going to come at you really hard. I mean, just think about a movie the, that lasts 15, 20 minutes. That's when all the oppositions, all the stops are pulled out. Just to see if they can overcome the star in the movie. And if you just hold on, yes, there are times... You're going to get your butt kicked. There are times when you know and you just keep your mouth shut. Not because you're dumb or you don't have what to say. But it's like you choose your battles. And like Proverbs says, why go to war where there is no spoil? If there is nothing to gain there. If all it's going to bring to you is, is sin, shame and disgrace. Don't fall for it. Don't lower yourself to those standards yeah because abundance is your birthright abundance is your birthright and right behind it it says you should be aware of business partners so for those of you if you're considering going into a business with a partner you're in a you are currently in partnership with somebody you know be aware of those people because again if you're having hiccups and setbacks you never know. The other person may not be carrying out their duties. As well as sometimes you'll be surprised the people who are working against you. I mean, you could even be in, in partnership partnership with your own spouse and they're sabotaging you. 
So it's important to, you know, pay attention to what is happening, what people are saying, what people are doing. How motivated are they? Are they just lackadaisical, just going with the flow? You are the one having to pull, drag everything, and they just come along for the ride, but yet still they want their, their share. Okay, so be aware of that. Again, that's like a, a warning. God or divine, God is also watching over you as well. With If you have such a person in your life that you're dealing with divine is is looking watching keeping a close eye on what is going on he's watching over it because for a lot of you the business is blessed because you are there you are the luck you are the abundance yeah because when you are weak remember that divine is strong so look out for problematic people clients it could be anybody People who just, again, is like they set up to bring you down. It's like, see how the enemy is working and try to not to fall for it. Because what they're trying for you to do is to mess up so you could lose your job. They can complain about you so that whatever it is, they have more evidence and proof that you are not fit for that job. You're not fit for that position you are not fit to be a mother whatever it is situation you're in remember you're a generation curse breaker it's like remember your position and why you're here don't fall for it for a lot of you you are going to get this financial piece you're gonna get it but for a lot of you yes it said be willing to go alone at the back even if it means you have to go alone, some of you, yes, you will have to go alone. Because you're going to realize that a lot of people are or they were working against you. So you are a winner. You are a star. Like I said, I love it. They cannot stop the star from shining. So if it's your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul travelers, new soul travelers, thank you for your love and your support always. We are blessed, we're highly favored, we're anchored, we're safe, we're protected. God is for us. Who can be against us? It's because of your light. It's because of who you are. This is why the battle, the war, the, it is so hard. But it's like you're going to understand it. We're going to understand it. All of us have our own cross and burdens to bear. We can only encourage each other and pray for each other. In whatever way we can support each other but at the end of the day your healing is your responsibility because as a star you're also a healer you have to heal yourself you're called to heal other people around you how people treat you is none of your business but your healing it is your responsibility abundance is your birthright so you're a star, you're a winner. So this is why you may have people want to create problems in your life. You see the hermit going inward, introspect. Again, look, we have the star, we have the pen. It's like it was written in the star. So if this is a workplace, see all these boxes, these are complaints that stacked against you. Somebody wants the spotlight to be on you, but it's in a negative way. Spirit said, don't fall for it. They want you in the hot seat where you have to defend yourself. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. You work too hard. You got it out the mud. Wherever you are, that position, that accolade, that certificate, that business, your family, your children, you come too far to let anybody, to let the devil steal it from you don't fall for it you got it out the mud abundance is your birthright if you allow the enemy to if you fall for it then that's when they win don't fall for it three of pentacles i'm telling you people are collaborating see the mask something is growing a lot of people are collaborating teaming up be aware of 
of, of business partners, people who you work with. They are fake. They are not real. They are not real. They're working together to bring you down, but God has his eyes. God is focused and he's watching over you. And he's taking note of what they're doing as well, the moon. So when you are weak, he's strong. The things that are happening in the background. And this box here, it's like how, how to like disappear or something and get away with it. So it's a lot of people who are planning and strategizing, want to take you down, want to take you out. Illusions. Things in the dark that you don't know. This is what is coming to light for you right now. Just know that God is your strength. He doesn't miss anything. It's like stay out of people's way. And again, it's like as you mature, as you get older, wiser, you realize how the enemy works and don't fall for it. They want you to fizz out. They want you to burn yourself out. And then they can say, aha. We told you, you are not fit for this. You are not fit to be that. And that's when you lose everything. Realize how the devil works. Realize how the enemy works. Regroup yourself. Take a step back. Cry if you have to because tears, it's there for a reason. God gave it to us for a reason. To cleanse our soul see again when you are weak he's strong the strength card you have a body you have an alliance infinity forever and ever and ever when god is for you who can be against you so the enemy can only take overcome us if we if we give our power over to the devil calm down Cry, take a nap, and regroup. Talk to Jesus. Like the song says, let's just have a little talk with Jesus. Let's tell him all about our troubles. Talk to God and allow him to walk you through this. Allow him to walk you through this, you know, with the Knight of Cups. He wants to give you your peace. He wants to control your emotion and your stability. See, that financial peace. For some of you, it's different things that you want in your life to bring you peace. It could even be your health. God has a cup, all the fish. It's fertility, abundance. Yes, I'm telling you, five of ones, a lot of conflict, drama in the background. People are jealous. They're envious. Again, the mask. Don't fall for it. People are planning and they're strategizing how they're going to come for you. How they're going to take you down. They're trying to bait you. Remember, you are the spiritual bait. Don't let people allow you to lose your, your hand. Don't let them trick you out of your spot. What they're planning, plotting, when you get yourself together... Calm down. God is going to reveal everything to you and what moves you need to make. He takes care of his own. See, four of cups, don't miss this opportunity. Take your eyes off of what is having you distracted right now. Your emotions. Get out of your feelings. And look up and see what God is showing you. Ask God, what do you want me to learn from this? What can I do in this place where I am right now? Because a lot of you, you pray and the answer is here, but we're too busy looking on other things. Hmm. Yeah, see? Five of swords. People want to win at all costs. Again, the mask. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it because right behind it, is the ace of wands it's that brand new creative spark god is gonna restore renew everything everything you will reap if you faint not and i know it's not easy 
whatever it is you're going through right now, it's not easy. For, for a lot of you, you could be at a breaking point. Even though you're a star, you're a healer, you heal a lot of people. And right now it's like, God, I can't even heal myself. And this is when you rely on God to carry you through. The high priestess. You allow your faith to carry you through. To carry you through. I'm talking to you, nine of pentacles. You're stable. You can do this. You got it out the mud. This is you all by yourself. For some of you, you have your home. You have your business. Your family. The things that makes you stable. And it could be in jeopardy. But this is who you are. It's not what your situation looks like around you. See, it's okay for the sea to be rough and stormy. And you're out there in the storm. But as long as the water does not get inside of the boat, you're okay. Don't allow the emotions, the things around you to get inside of you. To cause you to freak out and drown. Don't be like Peter. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Yeah, walk away. Walk away because people are trying to end things in your life. They don't want you to get something, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, be that fool. Even if you look silly. Even if people laugh and talk. Take that leap of faith with God. Do it God's way. You won't lose. I can guarantee you that. Love yourself because when all else fails, you is all you got. And whatever you're fighting for, your business, your children, your family, love yourself. Because if, if you are not there to be strong for them, for it, then what's the purpose? You have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of especially your mental in this case. Because a lot of people could want to wear you out by bringing conflict and drama. Yeah, transform your worries into trust and faith. Transform. Change your worries into trust and faith. Don't let fear take over you. It's not real. It's false evidence appearing as real. They're trying you. This is only a test. Trouble does not last always. Don't allow the enemy to win. Don't allow the enemy to win. Your life purpose is bigger than your ego and your fear. Don't allow your ego to make you do stupid things. Sometimes you have to bite your tongue. Sometimes people will think that you're weak. Because they, they, they are doing things to push your button and you just keep silent. Sometimes you just smile at them. And you're like, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. What you could have said, what you could have done. But God, don't let people know your last word. Because God is fighting your battle. God is fighting your battles. Wow, I, I certainly hope this message gets to whomever on time, in time. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Wow. Yeah, like I said, you know, just trust the divine. Don't miss the offer God is giving you. Don't miss the solution because you're focusing on your problems. Look for the signs, the synchronicities. To tell you that God is with you. You may be alone in the physical. But God is with you. He's watching over you. He's watching over you. He sees how hard you work. And this is why this message is coming to you. To let you know to keep faith. Keep the faith. Shine your light. Thank you Uriel for helping me. To share my light with the world. Sometimes the more you keep your mouth closed. The, the more you know, the more you know, be like the wise owl. The more you see, the less you talk, and the less you talk, the more you will see. 
even if you may look stupid to people look you are protected Archangel Michael I love it thank you Michael for surrounding me with your protective light you are protected God is for you don't allow anybody to trick you out of your spot don't allow the enemy to steal your joy to steal your peace because everything that your heart desires it is within grasp it is in it is within reach this is nothing but another test nothing but another test you're gonna smile again you're gonna cry again but it's going to be tears of joy just hold on do it god's way Sometimes, yes, we have to fight fire with fire. And then sometimes you just have to, even in the in wildlife, sometimes they just let it burn. Like Usher Sang says, let it burn. Let them fizz out themselves. Because in the end, everybody will see them for who they are and what they have been doing. God is going to vindicate you. He's going to clear your name. don't fall for it do not fall for it wow i love this for you i love this for us i love this for us no matter what's coming at you with the eight of wands you know the tricks the traps the plans of the enemies just one after the other it's like you cannot get a break don't allow the enemy to steal your joy be like this king of swords here you know the truth it's in your hands you have the truth in your hand don't give it away don't give away your rights just by you can't control your emotions can't control your mouth loose lips sink ships sometimes you have to be play the fool who thinks they're fooling you play fool to catch the wise the king of cups master your emotions your feelings emotionally intelligent don't let the enemy see you sweat i'm telling you you will get it back what is it what is it is it your home your job your family it will be restored unto you it's almost like whatever you're going through, take this as a moment to rest, to get a break. Mm -hmm. You have Ace of Pentacles. God is going to give you double, triple for your trouble. See, the things that you're going through, the tests and the trials, is so that you can come back to share it with others. Just look at it as that. Your test is going to be your testimony. Whatever the mess you're going through right now, it's going to be a beautiful message. It's just another chapter in your book. But if you're not careful, if you're not careful, we can fall for the sneaky tricks of the devil, Seven of Sword, the deceptive strategies of the enemy. I mean, God already called judgment on all of this. I'm telling you, Queen of Cups, don't allow the enemy to steal your joy. Protect your peace. Protect what is yours. Speak up for yourself. But everything, everything according to God's will, yeah, you will get it back. Nine of Wands, you're down, but you're not out. I could be talking to a mother, an empress. God is here for you. The battle is not yours. It belongs to God. It belongs to God. Yeah, with your Page of Pentacles. So this could be a mother regarding your children or your child. Let me tell you, God is going to come through for you. Just don't give up. Don't give in. Remember who you are. 
Remember whose you are. You're an ambassador for Christ. Confirmation, you're an ambassador for Christ. Represent. Represent Abba, your father, because he's fighting for you. Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, I love this for you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be blessed.